Welcome back. You're taking a look over downtown Corpus Christi. A couple clouds off in the distance, but that's not stopping the sunshine or the mercury from rising here across town. Things very warm on your Wednesday. Checking in here with Beeville. It's a little bit of a different story. Fewer clouds, more blue sky in this picture, but still very warm temperatures out here. And that's going to be the case through much of not only Wednesday, but also Thursday and Friday. A warm up continuing through the end of this week. This is where we stand right now across the area. 80 in Corpus Christi, 77 out at the Naval Air Station and 70 over in Port A. Inland, it's a different story. And Alice, you're at 84 degrees, 83 down in Kingsville and 80 in Hepperville. So it's a warm day. It's only going to get warmer from here on out. At least another hour for these temperatures to continue rising. All because we have these winds coming in from the south southeast. That southerly flow really bringing in the warmer influence for temperatures and some moisture for those clouds and that's why we have that sun cloud mix for today, but it's breezy out there. Wind sustained around 20 miles per hour at times more, and it's going to be gusty over the next several days. We could see gusts on the order of 35 miles per hour, so that's going to get a pretty hairy out there for your plans throughout the rest of this week and into the weekend. I know Jeff is shaking his head at me because uh, that really interrupts his afternoon runs. I'm sorry, Jeff. I'm just giving the news. I don't I don't make the weather forecast here, but hey, we got some sunshine. We're going to count on our silver linings. Now, Doppler radar has been quiet, but as we head on into your Thursday, uh, it looks like we could see some changes with that. Not a really good chance for rain, but a few stray showers may come into the mix for this afternoon for our northern areas, uh, northern barrier islands up north of Port A. And then as we head into tomorrow morning, some of those low clouds could produce some drizzle for a short period of time from areas all the way up, skipping along through Ingleside, Taft, up through Refugio, and all the way up to Goliad. Could see some drizzle into the morning. Again, it's going to be short-lived at that, and I don't think it'll really amount to much, but those clouds will get out of here by tomorrow and give us another sunny afternoon here. Beach forecast if you're out on the islands today, 72 for the high. The water temperature is still a bit chilly, uh, 65 there, but those winds uh, out of the southeast, 15 to 30 miles per hour, going to be very windy and a moderate risk of rip currents once again today. High in some other areas, so you're going to want to take it easy out there uh, if you have plans to be out in the water. Pay attention to those beach flags, and if you do get caught in a rip current, as we've been telling you, swim parallel to the coast. That'll help you get out of the current itself and make your way back to shore. Visible satellite shows those clouds kind of exiting the area for this afternoon. That's allowed those temperatures to rise, and uh, we will see things continuing to get warmer throughout today. So again, the rip currents, be careful for those going through this afternoon. Uh, in terms of top weather fatalities, they rank pretty high on the list. As far as 2019 went, it was the number two killer, 72 deaths that year alone. And the 10 year average for rip currents is number four. We've had an average of 60 deaths over the past decade due to rip currents. So uh, be careful out there and make sure you're paying attention to those signs. Don't swim alone and swim near a lifeguard at that. So for the next several days, a warm up and humid, still very windy into at least Saturday. Our next weather maker comes in, looks to be late Late night Saturday into early Sunday, and it's going to take some time to get in here. It'll bring a few scattered showers, maybe a rumble of thunder, and dropping our temperatures down into the end of the weekend for the beginning of next week. Jeff.